We just talked to Thistle Technologies about how they are helping bring secure over-the-air updates to your devices far out at the edge. Hi PXers, it's Elliot here at Hardware Planning's Max 2025 and we're with Russell from Thistle Technologies to talk about how they are helping you confirm secure over-the-air updates for microprocessors and microcontrollers. Russell, what, what is your company about? What are you doing here? So we're trying to be the secure fleet management platform for both MCUs and Linux devices. Um, so we have a OTA update, a secure OTA update, mm -hmm. that uh, allows you to confidently deploy devices to the field and make sure that they're not gonna break, break down, whatever, when, once you get out there. And that's because of our uh, robust AB uh, update schema. Um, so say you push an update, it fails. Uh, you're, you can be confident that your device will go back to the best known stable state, mm -hmm. uh, and then you can figure out what's wrong with that update and push the right update to make sure that it continues to, to receive the new patches for exploits, whatever you're, whatever you're running into, mm -hmm. right? So um, that, along with our secure boot offering, um, is kind of like the whole package for, for this, right? So uh, you can push signed firmware updates uh, within the same OTA system and make sure that if people are tampering with their devices, whether it be through firmware, physical tampering, whatever, um, that your device won't boot and you'll get uh, information uh, alerts for that to make sure that you can address those issues. Okay, beautiful. So why do you feel that engineers need secure over the air updates? I mean, what's, what's wrong with just pushing these updates normally? Uh, so, I, like what I said in, in the beginning, um, if you're, you know, these could be deployed in an oil field, they could be deployed in the middle of nowhere, whatever. Like, do you want to have to send technicians out to figure out what's wrong physically? Um, and, and, and that's an issue that we've seen, we've run into, and that's one of the reasons that our company uh, started in the first place, is that instead of pushing updates, uh, people will just gap their hardware and like, you, you know, basically they'll become uh, end of life devices or uh, just, you know, won't, won't, won't receive updates. And they're, they're vulnerable if they're on networks. Um, they, you know, might not have new features. We might have to, you know, it's kind of frankly wasteful, right? Like if you can update your device and it'll last longer, and you know, you have a fi financial incentive to do that as well, yes. right? Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So why would an engineer choose to do this with physical technologies and not sort of choose to do it by themselves in-house? Yeah, for sure. Um, so we found that it can take uh, a company, product developer, whoever, 12 to 18 months to implement their security story. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and that's not, that's just the amount of time versus, you know, the, you know, X amount of money that that takes, right? So development time, whatever, right? Yeah. Um, and then it's not necessarily uh, a standard either for, for it, it, that could be a specific implementation for that specific device. So we're trying to do it faster, cheaper, and with, uh, and, and as simple as possible for you, right? So that you can be confident that your device is resilient Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's not going to, you're not going to have to cobble together a bunch of different either open source platforms, you know, pay a bunch of consultants. Um, and then when you go out to implement a new device or the new version of your device, um, you just use this little again. And it's just, it just step and repeat, right? So, beautiful. Yeah. beautiful. So I think all the engineers at home would be wondering how can they start to implement this uh, into their next over the air update? How can they start to use your platform? Yeah. Um, so if you go to uh, thistle.tech, um, we have uh, links to our compiled binaries for our Thistle update client. And then we also have a uh, command line Thistle release helper. But the important thing here, I think, because we also have a UI that you can use to, to push releases, the important thing here is our Thistle update client. You can just drop that in, onto your device. Uh, specifically, it's a, if it's a Linux device, it's just literally drag, like pushing that file to your device. Uh, and then you can start getting updates um, right away. You, you know, there's a couple of small, like, there's a, a device token that you have to add into a config file, but it's like two minutes of config, and then you push push the, the update client on your device, and it's ready to go. Beautiful. And you start getting feedback on, on our platform. Um, and then we also are supporting uh, MCUs as well. So that's uh, a little bit of a, more of the Wild West, right, compared to the Linux. Totally. Um, but we're supporting the PSOC 6 AI kit um, from Infineon, because we're an Infineon partner as well. And I can speak to the, the Secure Boot story as well if we want to go into that. but. Um, it's 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 really simple. It, that's you know that's what we're trying to do. Make it as, as easy as possible to to make your devices as resilient as possible in the field. Awesome. So with the recent Cyber Resilience Act, have you seen sort of a large boost or a large uptake of people who are using Thistle Technologies? Services? Yeah, actually, we found that. Uh, so we're an Infineon partner, and we're working uh, with the uh, Optica Trust M, which is a mm -hmm. hardware security module. 
that you can add to your board uh, as a as a root of trust, um, and that stores the certificates for our secure boot offering. Mm -hmm. um, and if you add that to it to your to your hardware, you become uh, compliant with the the CRA. And we we kind of found that out after the fact, which is pretty pretty nice. Yeah. Um, right place. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, sweet ass. So if someone who wants to get into this, is it very difficult? Is it sort of a subscription model that you're going in or is it a one-off payment right at the start that might sort of scare smaller companies off? Sure, sure. Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, the enterprise level is something different, but if you just want to try out our platform, um, it's free to sign up. Uh, it's free to, to add devices. Uh, and then you can just quickly, like I said, it's very easy to, to add our, our Thistle update client to, to test it out and see how effective it is mm -hmm. for, for deploying your updates. Yeah. Um, and, and then if you want to test out SecureBoot as well, it's very easy. Um, like I said, free. Uh, you can add a single device or as many devices as you want. Um, and then, you know, basically our cost comes in when you're deploying at scale. That's that sort of thing. Yeah. So if people want to try out our platform, you shouldn't be scared at all. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That's a great message. Russell? Hey, thank you very nice much for your time. Thank you. <laughs>